Hi there! In this episode I'm gonna build the Fujimi AJN Yamato in 700 scale. Enjoy! Here it's the kit. This is the special version of Fujimi Yamato 46 series. Here it's the product code. Like all new Fujimi kits, this series is snap fit. I don't like these one piece and complicated instructions. The kit comes with tons of plastic parts, two PE fret, a laser cut wooden deck set and a foil printed sticker set. Let's get started with the body of ship. The fact that the kit is snap fit provides an advantage in the assembly of large parts. But if the kit is perfectly designed, and this kit is designed very well. Now I can take measurements for the build of the base. I'm gonna use two styrofoam blocks for that. At this point I forgot to white settings of my camera. Sorry about that. Anyway, I'm not gonna show you all steps of the building base. I have a detailed tutorial video about how to make a realistic sea effect diorama on my channel. For the link, check the sidebar or the information section. Let's continue to the build. I complete the assembly in the following three stages and rows. Rough assembly, necessary modifications and fine details. At this point, I realized that Fujimi didn't add to the kit the PE thread, which has railing and the other important details. But there are instructions about the part which doesn't come with the kit. Well done Fujimi! Now I have to order that thread separately or... Yes, good choice. I bought this set instead of the lost one piece expensive PE thread. This is the Flyhawk super detail set for Fujimi 46 Yamato series. But I need to make extra modifications. So, let's get started. The flyhawk parts are nearly twice as thin than the kit's part. 
this has its advantages and disadvantages. It's easier to bend and fold small parts, but working with large parts like this requires a lot of attention and is quite difficult. This piece is the most difficult piece of the set to fold. I solved the problem in two ways. The first one is with basic tools like blunted utility knife blade. After fixing the part right in the middle with the blade, I am carefully folding it. The part is ready to be glued in place after a final folding. And the second way is using an expensive PE folding tool. I don't feel comfortable with these tools, but let's give it a try. After bending the part, I repeat the previous step. Ok, let's glue the rails in place. I will repeat that 24 times, so see you on the next step. Still, there are beautiful details on the set that comes with the kit. I will also use them. Ok, let's continue with turrets. As I mentioned before, I follow these steps. Main assembly, making modifications and fine detail works. Flyhawk set contains not only PE parts, it comes with gun barrels, resin parts for flex and turnip brass reel parts. I don't know the name of these things on the turret barrels, probably maintenance spears, 
It was easier than I thought to do these things, consisting of three very small pieces. Let's build a AEGA. It consists of one large piece and two other small pieces. It will be completed after a complicated folding process, but I will build 29 more. Let's see how it's going to be. The assembly of the bridge and the funnel requires many sub-assembly stages, lot of modifications and detailed works. It will be a little difficult and a little complicated to watch, but let's do this.
The most annoying things of this kit are to cut, clean and modify these small parts. Well, it's enough for now. Let's move on to crane and catapults.
After now, I will complete all the remaining small details and proceed to the paint stage. And here it's the fun part. You know, I'm an aircraft modeler and I did not build an aircraft model for a while. This will be fun. All these struts, wings and other details you see are quite thick. Improvement and modification is required.
Well, it's time to replacing these details. These torn up brass parts require rasping, otherwise it will be hard to glue them to place. Now I can apply primer. I'm going to apply two types of primers for this build. First one is for the metal surfaces, second one for the plastic surfaces. After applying primer, now I am painting the body of the ship first, because I am going to apply the laser cut wooden deck stickers to the deck before painting the other parts. This one piece sticker is quite large to stick properly. I have to split it in two for better control. Now I can apply the protective gloss varnish coat. While the first gloss layer is drying, I am completing the remaining assembly. This time I prefer add railings to the model after the paint. So I'm gonna paint them before cutting, but I'm applying a metal primer layer first. And to the all other metal parts. And here is the surprise, 3D printed 700 scale naval figures. This will be crazy. Let's paint it with white primer first. Instead of painting these details with a brush, I simply use a watercolor pencil.
After all the paint process is completed, I can apply gloss varnish to all parts. I prepare two different concentrations of washing liquid. First, the lighter one. And the darker one. This time, I'm not gonna wipe the excess wash. I will apply a thin layer of the main color later. This will be the pre-shading layer. This is what I'm talking about. Remember, this wash is not oil-based, otherwise this layer will be chipped. I couldn't stop applying post-shade weathering because I love it. Aluminum stickers come with the kit are too thick. I found these from the spare decal box. Now I'm gluing the railing parts. No problem with gluing painted parts if you apply the proper primer first. Well, it's ready to apply flat varnish.
As I mentioned before, there is a tutorial video about this on my channel. You can find the link on the sidebar or the information section below. I will just show you what I did without an explanation. I made a frame using with balsa plates and I painted it with matte black. Now I can fix the model to the base. I'm starting adding the details after the glue is completely dry and fix it in place of the model. It is impossible for me to paint these figures properly. I roughly paint them too.
This elastic rigging material comes with the Flyhawk detail set. Well, thanks for watching this episode. See you soon in the next episode. Until then, stay safe and keep modeling. Bye.